All right, so it appears that Jimmy Dore's being a Republican once again, spewing Republican talking points, talking shit about Democrats. It's not a bad thing to criticize Democrats when, except when everything you do is clearly attacking Democrats and not calling out Republicans for their bullshit, and it's clearly your grift and you're doing it because it makes you money. Um, I'd love to see him start dropping Republican attack videos. That would be amazing to see all of his fans shitting on him. Um, anyways, so in this situation, I'm sure you guys have heard the, heard the new Republican talking point. Every like couple of weeks, there's like a new Republican lie talking point that's made up. This time is that there are 87,000 new IRS agents as a result of the Inflation Reduction Act. The IRS has actually been pretty be uh, deeply in need of, of beefing up because of so many tax cut, uh, so many uh, funding cuts from Republicans. And so those funding cuts actually make it so that the IRS doesn't have the ability to go after rich people who hide their money and don't pay their taxes. <clears throat> so it's, it's needed it pretty badly. Now, it's not true that he's hiring 87, that this hires 87,000 IRS agents. There's basically, there was a 2021 report um, that would say that, you know, uh, the investment will be able to hire roughly 87,000 employees by 2031. So in 10 years, it says, but most of these hires would not be internal revenue agents and wouldn't be new positions. So uh, A, it's 87,000 employees by 2031. Number two, it's not actually 87,000 employees um, because what it actually says here is that in all the IRS might net roughly 20,000 to 30,000 more employees from the new funding, enough to restore the tax collecting agency staff to where it was roughly a decade ago. So you're actually talking about adding in net 20 to 30,000 more employees. The IRS has a lot of attrition due to people retiring. Um, and it also, again, says here that basically... Um, it says, according to a Treasury Department official, the funds would cover a wide range of positions, including IT technicians and tax services, support staff, as well as experienced auditors who would largely be tasked with cracking down on corporate and high-income tax evaders. So um, the 87,000 new IRS agents is just a complete lie. It's not 87K. It's more like 20 to 30 in net. It's not IRS agents. It's customer support and people who are going to go after rich people, etc. cetera. Um, so it's just all a bunch of lies. But of course, it's Jimmy Dore. This guy was selling, like, let's go, Brandon Shares. He's a fucking loser. Um, anyway, so Katie Porter, who's a representative who's good. She's not great. Like, she's not amazing. I mean, compared to the others, I mean, she's she's really good, obviously. Um, but she don't, she's not like a Bernie Sanders or nothing. But anyways, this is a video clip. It says, special interest lobbyists push to defund the IRS so it would be easier for big corporations to evade taxes. Corporate cheating is so extreme that for every $1 we invest in enforcement, we get $5 back in taxes that are owed but are not currently being paid under the law. So this is one of the ways that Joe Biden is trying to pay for the uh, you know, the climate investments that he's making in the Inflation Reduction Act. And so basically what it says is that the CBO, the uh, Congressional Budget Organization, I think estimated that for every $1 spent on the IRS, we will receive $5 back. Now. Um, Jimmy Dore here says she's full of shit. If you think 87,000 new IRS agents are going to target the wealthy, you probably think the president isn't demented. They're going after workers, gig workers. Democrats are not saving you from Republicans. They are Republicans. So basically, th what's true right now is the IRS is actually disproportionately and disparately um, auditing poor people. Um, since it's getting worse, the IRS now audits poor Americans at about the same rate. Um, as the top 1%. Now, um, we we'll hear what it says. Uh, this is like the main website, it appears, like in terms of uh, what appears to be like the authority source. Um, it's called Track IRS, T R A C. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave the link, but I'll probably forget. Uh, all the articles that I've seen talking about this actually cite this. So this seems to be like the legit, you know, source. So it talks about how the IRS audits poor families at the five times the rate for everyone else, uh, which is obviously really terrible. And so what it appears going on is there's correspondence audits that are much easier do, to do than court, like the corporate big tax money audits because the returns are much more complex and difficult to review. And so because they're so understaffed, they're not able to do that. Whereas the correspondence audits where they can just, you know, do it by mail, it's very easy, it's very simple. It mostly has to do with the earned income tax credit if you don't know what a tax credit is uh you know when you're having your tax bill it it actually contributes to taking away those taxes and then i, I mean i'm pretty sure you can straight up get money from it if you are in the positive 
uh, whereas a tax deduction just deducts money from your taxable income. So a tax credit is like a billion times better. Uh, but if you're really poor and have children, you're able to, you know, claim the earned income tax credit. And because of Republicans like constantly hammering the IRS on that, and also the, the just the fact that the EITC audits are just easier, um, they're able to just do those much more. And so basically what it says here is it says the crisis caused by inadequate staffing at the IRS. Many problems plagued the IRS and tax administration last year. Erin M. Collins, a national taxpayer advocate, in her annual report to Congress noted, there's no way to sugarcoat the year 2021 in tax administration for the perspective of tens of millions of taxpayers. Tax administration did not work for them. It says, the source of the problem, years of starving the IRS for resources so, there, so that there was simply too few people to adequately staff the agency. This is compounded because during the pandemic, Congress had assigned the IRS more and more vital responsibilities. So um, pretty much basically what it's saying is the crisis caused by inadequate staffing at the IRS. Um, and here it talks more about how the IRS uh, conducts audits of low-income taxpayers that's fundamentally unfair. Again, it has to do with the earned income tax credit and how those are easier to audit. Uh, it says few millionaires are audited. And what it ends up saying here, um, it says high income returns escape audit because IRS are not hiring enough revenue agents. Critical limitation in the IRS's ability to audit millionaires, the availability of IRS revenue agents. Only this class of auditors, given sufficient training and experience, are qualified to examine complex tax returns, the type of returns typically filed by high-income individuals and large-scale businesses. With severe budget constraints, IRS has tended to trade off the replacement of revenue agents with hiring more tax examiners. These certainly are paid less, but they're also less knowledgeable. While revenue agents used to outnumber tax examiners, this has slowly shifted over time. So you can see on this chart how uh, basically used to have the revenue agents higher than the tax examiners just back in 2010. And now it seems like it's actually gone. The deficit has grown, gone even higher. Uh, the surplus for tax examiners is even higher now. So uh, that's very bad because the tax examiners are going to be one that go after middle class people. And the revenue agents are going to be the ones going after the corporate, uh, corporate thugs, basically. So... Since so this changing mix of IRS audit staff has had a profound impact on both which types of returns get audited as well as the depth of these audits, skills have tilted towards IRS targeting less complex issues and returns and conducting less in-depth audits. While examiners may be cheaper to hire in the short run, the unavailability of experienced revenue agents means that complex tax returns often go unexamined, while complicated tax issues, if reviewed at all, are not audited in as much depth. Yet these are the targets where experts believe the large amount of tax revenue is escaping detection and collecting. Uh, collection. So pretty much what it's saying is, right, like Jimmy Dore is a dumbass, right? So he doesn't understand this. So it's true. Yeah, the IRS currently is auditing poor people at an unfair rate. That is absolutely like true. That is definitely, definitely true. But again, he's a moron. He's a dumbass. He's a dumb fuck. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. So the solution, again, this is like, they were talking about like the source, the source of, you know, uh, of this whole uh, everything, you know, track IRS is explaining. They're saying that the reason why that this is so disproportionately against poor people is because the IRS doesn't have enough funding. And so the more revenue agents, the more staffing, the better customer support and service that the IRS can get, the more it can go after go after the millionaires who are not paying their taxes. And so by beefing up the IRS, they're going to be able to go after the corporate thugs because they now have more money to be able to pay for people to be actual complex tax readers because that stuff is very difficult to go through and you have to do interviews and things of that nature that are much more difficult whereas like eitc checks are just you know super easy very automated just do them by mail it doesn't take much work and that's why they're able to do it so clearly we know clearly we agree with the premise we all can agree on the premise that currently the irs is auditing poor people at a disproportionate rate what is the solution to that issue? The solution to that issue, as it comes from Track IRS and, and and pretty much everyone that seems to be an expert on the situation and not somebody who just, you know, is just an idiot, um, is to beef up the IRS so that it has better customer support, so that it has more experts to be able to go after uh, the rich, the corporate thugs, right? Um, so could middle class taxpayers be targeted by the IRS, not likely according to tax experts and officials at the IRS and Treasury. Most middle class workers receive W-2s at, at tax time or tax forms that show total compensation, the amount of federal, state and other tax withheld from your paycheck. 
Um, it's difficult for people who receive W-2s to hide income, in other words, uh, who might face higher audit rates, higher earning Americans and businesses, according to Treasury officials. Other taxpayers could also face more scrutiny, including self-employed workers and people who operate cash businesses, because it's offer, often easier for these types of workers to claim deductions that they may not be entitled to or to underreport income, tax, tax experts note. Um, so, uh, you know, it just goes on to talk about uh, this situation. So basically the, um, you know, the situation here that we're going to need, and there's a lot of scrutiny about this, and so the uh, Jeanette Yellen, and who's you know not the uh, at the IRS, but has instructed the IRS to really focus on not raising you know the the uh, audits beyond what is normal for uh, people under 400k. One of the dangers of the under 400k thing, though, is that there's a lot of rich people who claim that they're making under 400k on the tax returns, and so they have to go after them because they're lying because they're actually making much more. So it gets even more like tricky there. But basically, Jimmy Dore continuously being a Republican, being an idiot, being a moron, not knowing what he's talking about, is not 87,000 new IRS agents. That's not true. Um, and uh, the money that is going to the IRS will allow it to be able to go after, chase, and find the tax revenue from those corporate thugs who are not paying their taxes. But Jimmy Dore doesn't know anything, obviously.